Welcome to the GitLab 14.4 release post. Today, I'll be going over some of the security features within this new release of GitLab. You can now schedule DAST or Dynamic Application Security Tests. These tests are performed on a running application to find any vulnerabilities. By scheduling it, you can make sure that it is performed at the times needed to meet your compliance needs. We can schedule a DAS scan by going to the Security and Compliance tab and clicking on On Demand Scans. Here we give the scan a name, a description as well. Then we can select the scanner profile as well as a site profile. And then we check Schedule Scan. Here we can provide a time zone a date, a time, and if we want the scan to repeat. I'm selecting every week. And then we can save the scan. In this view, you can manage the scans as well as schedules. GitLab can now send you a Slack notification whenever a new vulnerability is found. This assures that the appropriate team is notified in a quick manner using Slack. In order to integrate Slack, we go to our project settings and select integrations. Then let's go down to Slack notifications. And we can select vulnerability and add a channel. See the links in the description to learn how to properly integrate Slack. There is now improved security for the CI job token. Within the project settings, you can set which projects will have access to the CI job token. In order to enable this, go to your project settings and click on CI CD. Then expand the token access tab and check Limit CI Job Token Access. Here you can add projects which will have access to the CI Job Token. You can now directly create vulnerabilities using the GitLab GraphQL API. This is useful because it'll allow you to create vulnerabilities with third-party scanners which you integrate and see those vulnerabilities within the Vulnerability Management Dashboard. Let me show you an example. We're here within the GitLab Vulnerability Report. Then I'm going to go ahead and send a request using Postman. It's going to be set up with the GraphQL schema. An example of what this schema looks like can be seen in the links in the description. Once I send the request, you can see that a new vulnerability was created. Now let me go back to the security dashboard. Once I refresh it, you can see the vulnerability I created is now displayed. It contains all the data which I sent in the request. The SEMGREP SAST or Static Application Security Testing SEMGREP Analyzer now supports Golang. When going to a Go project with SAST enabled, you can see in the pipeline that SEMGREP is running. And as always, you can see that GitLab maintains and manages the security analyzers. Here you can see a couple of the updates for static analysis. And those were some of the security features within GitLab 14.4. I hope you enjoyed this video and please click on that subscribe button. And I hope you have a happy Halloween, or rather a ghoulish one.